to the people of Ireland, Irish men and Irish women, in the name of God and the, and of the dead generation from which she receives her old tradition of nationhood, Ireland through us summons her children to her flag and strike for her freedom. Having organised and trained her, ma her manhood through her secret revolutionary organi organisation, the Irish Republican Brotherhood and her open military, open military organisations, the Irish Volunteers and the Irish Citizen Army having patiently perfect, perfected her discipline, having resolutely waited for the right moment to reveal itself. She, she now sees that moment and supported by her exiled children in America and by gallant allies in Euro Europe but relying on the first on her own strength she strikes in full confidence of victory we declare the right of the people of Ireland and to, to ownership of Ireland to the to usurpation of the, that right by a uh, foreign people of and government is has not extinguished the right C can it ever be extinguished except 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 by the destruction of the irish people in so sovereignty six times during the past 300 years that they have asserted it in um, standing on that fun fund fundament fundamental right and again asserting to the it in arms in the faith and we pledge our lives and the lives of our comrades in arms to the cause of its freedom and we play uh, of its welfare and its escalation among the nations. The Irish Republic is entitled to and hereby claims the allegiance of every Irish man and Irish woman. The Republic guarantees resolution and civil liberty equal rights and equal opportunities to all its citizens and declares its resolve to pursue the happiness and pr prosperity of the whole nation and all and nation and of all its parts cherishing all the children of nation equally the oblivious oblivious of the differences carefully fostered by an alien government which have divided a mo minority from a majority in the past until your arms have brought the opportune moment for the establishment of a permanent national government representative of the whole people of Ireland and elected by suffrages of ho ho all her men and women, the professional government hereby continued will administer the civil and military office of the Republic in trust for the people. We place the cause of the Irish Republic under the protection of Most High God whose blessing it we invoke upon your arms and we pray that no one serves that. Cause we dishonor it by cowardice, humanity or rapine. In the supreme hour, the Irish nation must be by be its valor and the discipline uh, and by the radiance of, of its children, the sa two suffrages, scaffrages, suffrages. 
themselves for the common God proved us worthy of the August destiny to which it calls.